Morning, Troy over at Wooden Wonders, where the purpose of this channel is to give you tricks and tips to make your woodworking more efficient and more enjoyable. Today's topic, mistakes. Ah! Yesterday, um, that's how I get the ideas for these videos. Yesterday I had a real beauty. Um, I was finishing this uh, hickory top for a client and I had gone through all the different grits. I used a trouble light to go through and look at all the different areas from different angles to putty and make sure all the cracks were filled, etc. Go through all of that and I take that into my finishing shed, put the natural stain on it, look great, but 10 minutes later, my wife and I were in there looking at other projects. I look at a different angle, and here is this circular mark. It's my circle mark from my sander. I'm showing a picture of it right now. You can't even see it on the picture, but if you get in the light just correctly, you're going to see it. Now, when you get through the staining and you get through the finishing process, it's going to magnify it. You're going to get in a certain light, and you're going to be, oh my gosh. Same thing with snipe, which is the end of a board. A lot of times you'll get that on boards. You got to get it out. You got to take lights from different angles because it will jump out at you like crazy. But that's a mistake. I made it. I knew better than that. I was sanding with the thing. I must have got distracted. I must have turned it off and just set it in that one spot. I didn't see it through the whole process. So that is one example of a mistake that you make that you have to learn okay then you don't do that again why did i make that mistake yes i was lazy put that down i got distracted another reason is probably the light in my shop is not bright enough i'll show a picture of what that looks like and basically dust is going to settle up on the up lighting so by taking a broom through there and taking some of that dust down from time to time, you're probably going to get a more intense light, which is going to be able to help you see more mistakes or errors or whatever and correct those before they become unrepairable. Uh, in this case here, I had one, two bowls though that I just got lazy and never replaced them. I got to do that or if I, met, if I would have done that, I might have seen this. I don't know. But if you make a mistake, you see something you didn't do that you should have done, Add it into your process of what you do. For example, every week or two weeks, I should be going through and doing these lights like that to make sure my shop is lit properly. So there's one example of making a mistake, but then getting a process to take care of that and making sure that you do that. If you don't learn from the mistake, you're just going to keep making it somewhere else. Another example is my forms that I use in through here. I would put wood in there. I would put resin in there uh, to make... Uh, peg racks, etc., with wood and resin. There's a spray release that I spray into here that allows that to pop up more easily once everything is cured and dry. Great. I'm in my finishing shed. I've got other projects that I was working on that were drying in another part of the shed. So I spray this in there to get it prepped for another project. But that spray, even though I'm not seeing it, there are getting to be spray and you know, a mist or some sort of a film that it creates that goes over. Well, that went on top of a couple of other pieces in there that were in process of finishing. I come back the next day and I look at those and they are all splotchy. With the release, it must have got on the piece and then the finish that I put on would not stick in certain spots. So it looked kind of like a tortoise shell. It was just terrible. Okay, don't do that when you're in there. Take this outside and spray and then take it in, then you're good. Thought I was fine, got lazy on another project, some things were going quickly with time, I'll just spray a little bit. So I just did a little bit on that. Same thing, same thing. So there's an example of learning from a mistake, but not really learning from a mistake. So um, I guess the purpose of the video today is you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna learn as part of the learning process. But if you make one, learn from it, and keep and then don't do it again you'll learn certain processes that you do and those processes are there that have worked for you and then the chance you get a chance to see all that again and then you don't make those mistakes because it becomes just routine on that so hopefully that will help you um, again please subscribe to the channel if you would please uh, put a like on there if you would please ask questions in the below area if you have questions 
I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching.